So friends, three legal updates. Rudy is broke. Trump is defenseless. And Jack Smith is busy. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, let's do a justice lightning round. Three quick legal updates. The first one, Rudy Giuliani is broke. Rudy lied about Georgia state election workers, Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman. They sued him for defamation. They are seeking discovery, which is their right in a lawsuit. But Rudy says uh, he can't afford to comply with discovery. Here is the recent reporting. This from the Washington Press. Consequences. Rudy Giuliani tells court he's too broke to comply. And that article begins, the costs of Rudy Giuliani's multiple legal troubles are adding up, it seems. And he's now filed in court to say that he can't afford the cost of searching his documents for relevant files in Fulton County, Georgia, election worker Ruby Freeman's case against him. The so-called America's mayor says it would cost him $320,000 and that he just doesn't have the money. Freeman, a 2020 poll worker, along with her daughter Shea Moss, sued Giuliani and a number of other defendants in December 2021 alleging that lies and disinformation spread about the 2020 election, as well as specifically scapegoating her and other individuals, put her in danger. Now she says she spent 10 months trying to get necessary documents from him, Rudy, in the discovery process, and that he has failed to comply. In response, Giuliani argues that he has searched the documents in his possession but no longer has access to a long list of devices and storage locations and that other named locations, email addresses associated with Giuliani Communications or the Giuliani Partners website, do not exist or are not accessible to him. And then he talks about how some of these documents are stored uh, in something called Trust Point Data Storage and This is what Giuliani goes on to say. The Trust Point One documents have now been archived. I have endured substantial fees and costs in connection with multiple litigations and investigations, and I could no longer afford to pay Trust Point One to keep the documents online. It would cost me over $320,000 to become current on my arrearage with Trust Point One, I do not have the funds to pay this amount at this time. Well then, Rudy, you probably shouldn't have gone and defamed Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman. And the fact that you can't pay your own bills to store your own documents and retrieve them as part of the legitimate discovery requests of the very people you defamed, doesn't sound like a winning argument. But you know what, Judge Beryl Howell will undoubtedly set a hearing in this matter and she'll sort it all out. We'll keep an eye on this story. Story number two, in the E. Jean Carroll sexual assault and defamation case against Donald Trump, Trump's lawyers have announced that Donald Trump will present no defense Here's the new reporting from CNN. Headline, Trump doesn't plan to put on a defense in E. Jean Carroll trial, his lawyer says. And that article begins, Donald Trump's legal team will not put on a defense case in a civil battery and defamation trial brought against the former president, his attorney said Wednesday. Trump's lawyer, Joe Takapina, confirmed outside the presence of the jury that his legal team will not call a previously proposed expert witness due to logistical reasons related to health concerns for the witness. 
The case was brought by former magazine columnist E. Jean Carroll, who has alleged Trump raped her in the Bergdorf Goodman department store in the mid-1990s and then defamed her when he denied her claim, said she wasn't his type, and suggested she made up the story to boost sales of her book. Trump has denied all wrongdoing. He's denied all wrongdoing, but is choosing not to put on a defense in his case. Trump has no defense to his conduct? Shocking. Third and final story. Special counsel Jack Smith posts up inside the grand jury. Here's a new reporting from CNN. Headline exclusive, special counsel sat in on Pence's testimony to federal grand jury. And that article begins, special counsel Jack Smith sat in on the federal grand jury proceeding while former Vice President Mike Pence testified for more than five hours last week. Three sources familiar with the matter tell CNN. Smith and Pence interacted while Pence was at the courthouse and one source described the interaction as respectful. Smith's appearance is the first known time the special counsel has attended a grand jury proceeding in the investigation. Smith is leading the criminal probe with a team of prosecutors into the aftermath of the 2020 election and efforts to overturn the results. Pence was poised to recount for the first time under oath his direct conversations with Trump leading up to January 6, 2021. Then President Donald Trump repeatedly pressured him unsuccessfully to block the 2020 election results, including on the morning of January 6th in a private phone call. Now friends, I'm not generally one to post or repost clever memes, but I have to admit, this caught my attention. It's a statement that Jack Smith made when he was still a war crimes prosecutor at The Hague not long before he was appointed special counsel to investigate the crimes of Donald Trump. He said, if you seek to intimidate or retaliate against witnesses of this court, I will do all that is in my power to assure you will ultimately find yourself brought to justice. And can I add, because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again soon.